Good morning, teacher. Uh, good morning, good morning. Thank you for being here on time. And thank you for waiting. Alejandra is also here. Good morning, Alejandra. Good morning, teacher. I see you have a new picture. Is that you, Alejandra, in the picture? Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, you look different. Sí. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have uh, 18 years old. You are? 18. I say, I am 18 years old. No, I, I am 18. All right. Kathy, good I... morning, Kathy. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Because Kathy is also present. I don't know Kathy yet. I haven't seen her picture. Uh, you see Lupita and Flor. But anyway, uh, thank you for another week. Today is Monday and we are going to finish unit nine today. I hope so. And then remember we have another exam, right? Um, today we're going to finish lesson D. Lesson D, if we finish on time, we have to make a review about the three units. And then the exam, it's gonna be easy. Um, I hope to um, same good result from you. So we are still working in, in unit, uh, I mean, unit nine, lesson C about, um, Sorry, this is not the book. You are not, <laughs> you're not in the level three yet. But soon, soon, soon. All right, as I was, as I was saying, um, Today is Monday, April, April 19. Wow, time is going fast, right? And 2021. All right, how was your week, Fleur? How was your week? Did it's you fine. do some? Yes? Yes, it's fine. It was fine. What did you do? Um, they go to the shopping. I went, remember? I, I went, went to shop. I went. I went shopping. I went shopping. Yes. Great. So you have fun. Lupita, what about you? What the, how was your week? Your weekend? Um, in the shopping. Uh, you also went shopping? Yes, a la, la Isla. I went shopping to La Isla, remember? To La Isla, yes. Uh -huh. Subject, verb, etc. Nice. Everybody yeah. goes shopping. You have money. <laughs> you have money, 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 money to spend. <laughs> Uno que es pobre, ¿verdad? Uh, Alejandra, how was your weekend? Y de familia numerosa. Ándale. <laughs> I busy. Um, I was uh, my busy. sister. I was busy. Uh, uh -huh. my, I was busy. Uh, my sister and um, eat and um, eat very much. <laughs> very much. Yeah, very much. Uh All right, can you see my screen, the board? Uh, yes. All right. Kathy, how was your weekend? Did you, did, mm. did you, did you do anything special this weekend? Uh, I go out with my friend, with my uh, best friend. I went out. Past tense. Mm? I went out, remember, because that's I weekend. Went out. Uh -huh. okay. okay, you went out with your friends. 
Just remember, it's something um, general knowledge about the language. You need to use always subject and verb. And you need to pay attention on the tenses. For example, what I mean is because you are about to finish in three units, you are about to finish level one. Están a punto en tres unidades más y terminan el nivel uno, ¿verdad? So this is for everybody. Everybody. Como la canción. Everybody. Um, you have to pay attention. Pay attention to the tenses too. I mean, if you are, if the question is with did, that means it's past tense, right? You have to use past tense. Like I went, no I go, uh, I did, I was, etc. La mejor forma de checar que alguien está aprendiendo inglés eh, es en la construcción de las oraciones. Lo más importante es, por ejemplo, usar al sujeto y el verbo. Siempre, siempre tiene que ir un sujeto y un verbo. En una oración, e igual poner atención en, en la, lo que le llaman el verb agreement o... Bueno, well, verb agreement es cuando el verbo se utiliza de acuerdo al, al sujeto, ¿no? Si es singular o es este otro tipo de sujeto. Pero poner atención, mucha atención en los, en los tiempos. Eso es muy importante. Si les pregunto en pasado, responden en pasado, ¿verdad? Igual si les, si les pregunto en presente perfecto, que no lo, no lo hemos visto todavía, eso viene más adelante en el nivel 3. Have you, have you been to, por ejemplo, have you been to uh, Yucatán? Ejemplo. Pero lo principal es, the main reason right now, what, why I'm mentioning is because in Touchstone One, um, you are the first group who's going to finish first. Eh, si ustedes son el primer grupo que van a terminar el Touchstone One, so necesito que, uh, obviamente, su nivel de Touchstone One, uh, no sé si sepan qué nivel es. ¿Alguien sabe? ¿Anybody knows? ¿Cuál? ¿Qué nivel es Touchstone One? Basic. 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 Yes. Pero es nivel A1. Uno. uno. Wow. Recuerden, tenemos A1. Hey. A1. And we have A2, right? Those are the three, two first level. And then we have B1 and B2. So this is touchstone one and touchstone two, right? So you, you are now here. You're about to finish, and then you jump to A2. A so, uh, hold on. This is so you can understand the levels. It's question one. But here we have um, B1, B1 would be um, Toshton 3 and Toshton 4. 
some of you, some of you might have maybe the level of B2, this level. in touchstone four, but that depends on the students, right? So the school has these four levels. We don't have C1 yet, but after B2, we have another class that's viewpoint. Bless you. Thanks. You point one, and we have also view point two. That's advanced level. So where it's mostly B two level, right? For C one classes, it's a different advanced level, so we don't have it. We have it like right now. We have classes with another a different teacher. But it's way too different in the way in a form that, well, you have to be very advanced. I mean, C1 is like somewhere, well, I will show you the, the, the difference in knowledge. Why this is A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, etc. What kind of knowledge you are supposed to have? ¿Qué se supone que deben saber con esos niveles? ¿Qué es lo que se entiende? Este tipo de, de, de vocabulario, de gramática, etc. Recuerden que ya los niveles no se miden como antes, que era decías, ok, hablo 30% de inglés, hablo 40, hablo, etc. Ahora se marca por el, lo que dice el marco común europeo, que es a través de uh, conocimientos uh, que llevan, uh, se hace un examen, claro, y se va viendo un nivel. Por eso ahora son seis niveles, que después del C1 está el C2, que es el máximo. Ya no hay más. C2 es alguien que es casi la perfección ¿no? de lo que dice el inglés. No hay errores casi. Aunque sí hay, ¿verdad? Anyway, anyway, uh, let's continue. Ese es un, un pequeño resumen de lo que es el nivel. A lo que yo digo es que si ya vamos a, a casi a terminar, el, bueno, nos queda todavía cerca de unas tres semanas más, cuatro semanas. O sea que para mayo ya casi estamos terminando el, el Touchstone One. Uh, que es A1. Entonces lo principal es conocimientos básicos, ¿no? Conocimientos básicos de que saber identificar en una oración. Y saber cómo construir una oración, además de los vocabulario, además del vocabulario. ¿Y es, Katy? Eh, ¿Usted nos daría igual a dos? De eso depende de la escuela. Ah, okay. Depende de la escuela. A mí me gusta continuar, depende y depende también de lo que pidan los estudiantes. Um, I just finished Touchstone 3 with one group, and then I start with them Touchstone 4. Uh, the last level. So it's up to you and it's up to the school. Whatever they decide. Uh, okay, let me, let me, let me uh, open uh, my book here and continue. Si me entendieron, verdad, Lupita, Flor, Alejandra? Yes, teacher. Okay. So we will continue. We, we continue with this kind of. Remember, kind of from last week, from Thursday, right? Yes. Ese de los bolillos que no se calla, pues. Kind of. Compra los bolillos ya. No, estoy a dieta. Por ahorita, hasta la próxima semana. All right, we finished this exercise. Um, but we haven't seen this one, right? Strategy plus, like or yes, we did. Terminamos este ejercicio la semana pasada o no? 
El número dos. Strategic no. cloud. No. No, no right? No. Ok. Strategy plus. Um, ok, who wants to read it? Who wants to read? Strategy plus. Okay. Like. You can use lie to give example. Lie is one of the top 50 words. It's uh, another meeting. I love Brazilian food. What is Thai food lie? It's spicy. Spikings are like sugar. In art. Okay, you can put sprinkles on things like ice cream and cake. So we are going to talk about the word like. Like has a lot of meanings, many meanings, right? As a verb, I like uh, soccer, I like watching TV, or I like to watch TV. I like go shopping, I like to go shopping, etc. In conversation, light is one of the top 15 words. It has other meanings. It has other meanings. I like Brazilian food. What's Thai food like? Spicy? Sprinkles are like sugar. sugar. Right? Like. Or like. So that's in, in this case, like light has many. Like, like, <laughs> like in Spanish, it's like this one, right? That's the meaning. Okay, in the next exercise, in the next exercise, you're going to imagine, imagine a tourist is asking these questions about your country. Complete the answers, then practice with a partner. You have questions from one to four. For example, number one, what are good souvenirs to buy? Let's see, you can buy things like, then you put here the name of the souvenirs, right? Mm -hmm. Do you ever see people in traditional clothes? What are they like? Say like. That's a different use of like the first one well sometimes people wear things like can you buy any traditional musical instruments yeah you can buy things like a guitar um, flute um, drums i don't know um, art uh, anything. Where are good places to visit? To visit. Where are good places to visit? Well, you can visit places like, for example, now that you, most of you are from Acapulco, except uh, Alejandra, you have different things, right? So you can suggest something like that. Imagine you're a tourist guy. And Zócalo? Yes. Let's, let's try and you... Let's do it in teams, exchange ideas. Okay. Exchange ideas and help each other. Please go to the rooms now. A, a couple minutes to discuss about this.
que tiene Hello. Is anybody there? Hello, teacher. Yeah, you're back. Thank you. I was fighting with my little dog here. <laughs> He's crying. All right. Uh, first question. What are you what are good souvenirs to buy? Let's see. You can buy things like floor. Mm. Cocadas and pen. Cocadas and pens. And what? Pen. Plumas. Pens. All pens. right. Okay, remember, so we have, uh, as you said, we have magnets. Those are very popular magnets. The ones you put on the fridge. Right? We have keychains, los llaveros. Keychains. Okay. Well, that's vocabulary for you. Magnets, the ones you put on the fridge. Keychains. Um, like floors and pens. Maybe. Um, Shears. Picture, a picture holder, where you put your picture, right? It says Acapulco, or welcome to Acapulco. So those are kind of souvenirs. We have many, many, many. Um, Skirts or t-shirts. Say it again, Alejandra. Uh, t-shirts. Oh, t-shirts, uh, yeah. yes, t-shirts. T-shirts. Right, sometimes you find cup. like uh, those... Uh, a cup, um, what is oh, Homemade, homemade dresses, right? Yes. De esos vestidos hechos a mano. They say they are neat, tejidos, neat. Oh, uh, well, guayaberas are like, you know, like t-shirts, but it's not a t-shirt. The guayaberas are more formal. What else do we have in Acapulco? We have um, tamarind, right? Tamarind. Tamarind. Pulp. Pulpa de tamarindo. We have uh, uh, like coconuts and diferentes presentaciones. Cocada, este, no sé. <laughs> anyway, that's just an example of extra vocabulary. Do you ever see people in, do you ever see people in traditional clothes? What are they like? Uh, Lupita, number two. Lupita, are you there? Uh, we feel yeah, it, number two. Uh -huh. You have it there, number two. Uh, do you um, ever see people in traditional clothes? What are they like? Well, sometimes people wear things like este, traditional candies y, and we feel. Whipil. Ah, son los vestimentas esos que usan. ¿Son unos qué? Los vestidos, unos vestidos este, tradicionales, uh, como de manta. Uh, manta. Oh, whipil, whipil. Ajá, uh -huh, ajá, uh -huh, sí, como de manta. Uh, okay. Well, y los tradicionales wear things like whipil mm -hmm. or maybe um, I don't know. So, what is a wee pill? Can you describe a wee pill? Mm. Los usan mucho las, las gentes de Oaxaca, los wee pills. Oh, they use aprons, right? Venden mucho en el Zócalo esos wee pills que son como de manta y tejidos así. 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. In rosas tejidas. Ah, you know, in the, in the name like was with, with the... Sí. Uh, yes, it's what I told La, you here. Blouse. Homemade dresses. And blouse, sí. They have blouses, right? They have dresses. Dresses. Oh. Oh, de ahí viene la canción, hermoso, huipil, llevabas, no sabía. Yeah. <risa> Llorona, con razón en el video ahí de uno. <risa> Hasta ahorita. Hasta ahorita yo. <risa> Oigo, creo que huipil es el que se le ponen a los tamales, pero no. No, ya ve. No. Es el chipil. <risa> vienen, vienen muchas personas de, de Oaxaca y el Zócalo y van en ese tipo de ropa. Mm. Oh, ok, eh, ok. Las, los huipil, las blusas, las guayaberas, todo eso. Yeah, ok, good. Now, number three, Alejandra, please. Can you buy any traditional musical instruments? Yeah, you can buy things like a guitar or, guitar. or maracas. Guitar, guitar or yeah. guitar maracas. or maracas. Guitars, guitar. Yeah, el acento va en guitar. 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 Yeah. Guitar. guitar or maracas. Yeah, they have it a lot. They have a lot of uh, those. Maracas. Maracas. And drums. Maybe drums, right? Drums. Drums. Drums, no drums. Remember, guitar, drums. no guitar, guitar, maracas. Guitar. Drums. I hope maracas are like this in Spanish or English. Maracas. Yeah. Le decimos ah. la, la orquesta. Uh -huh. Me falta que cante. Yo creo que Katy va a cantar. A ver, Katy, let's see Katy number four, please. Uh, where a good place to visit? Well, you can visit place like La Quebrada. Like... La quebrada. Places, remember, it's plural. Okay, places. Places. La quebrada. What else? Sunset. Oh, sunset in Piedra la Cuesta. Places. Pie de la Cuesta. Zócalo. De la Cuesta. Uh, the main square. That's the Zócalo. Yes. Zócalo, Spain Square. Uh, uh, caleta. Yes, Caleta. Digo, como buenos acapulqueños, pues tienen que recomendar lugares así. Uh, la Roqueta, right? La isla de la roqueta. La roqueta Island. 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 No, no es, no es ese. Island. Island. Yes. Island. Ajá. Uh -huh. We have uh, Revolcadero Beach, we have Lagoon Field, etc. Right? Many places to visit. Yes. So that's very important that you know, like, to describe a place, like, let's say Acapulco. What would you recommend visiting in Acapulco? And then, you know the names, you know the place. All right, so this was the exercise. Um, from Strategy Plus, Strategy Plus. Remember, it's not plus, not, it's not plus, it's plus. Plus. Yes. Plus. Strategy plus. Okay, now you're going to listen this. Pay attention and you have some questions here. Like, what is it? What language is it from? And what is it popular? Three questions. And you have four, like hamburger, tortilla, baklava, Mambalalaika. Balalaika. Yeah, everything is on the audio, so please pay attention. There you go. Okay. Page 91. Three. Listening and strategies. What language is it from? A. Listen and complete the chart. 
We use a lot of English words in Japanese. What about English? Does it have a lot of foreign words? Oh, yeah, especially for food. I mean, just look at this menu. Look at the word hamburger. I know the word hamburger. It's a kind of sandwich. But it's an English word, right? Well, actually, the word hamburger is German. German? Really? Yeah. The word comes from the city of Hamburg in Germany. But hamburgers are really popular in the United States, right? Yeah. You can find hamburgers in almost every American restaurant. What about this word tortilla? The word tortilla is Spanish. People eat tortillas all over Mexico and Central America. So, what is a tortilla exactly? Well, it's a kind of bread. Uh, it's kind of like a pancake. Look, here's a picture of one. Oh, okay. You can make sandwiches with them. They have five different tortilla sandwiches on the menu. Hmm, I bet they are delicious. Okay, here's another word you hear in English. Baklava. Is that a sandwich? No, it's a kind of dessert. And it's really, really good. Just look at this photo. Oh, I want to try it sometime. So where does the word come from? The word is Turkish, but baklava is popular in both Greece and Turkey. Oh, look! On Saturday nights, they have music from different countries here. Here? In this restaurant? Yeah, and tonight they have balalaika music. So that's another foreign word we use in English. The word balalaika is Russian. So what does balalaika mean? Well, a balalaika is a kind of musical instrument. It's very popular in Russia. It's kind of like a guitar. You know, I love Russian music. Really? Me too. So do you want to come back later tonight and have some baklava for dessert? I'd love to. All right, one more time and pay attention to your answers. Page 91. Three, listening and strategies. What language is it from? A, listen and complete the chart. We use a lot of English words in Japanese. What about English? Does it have a lot of foreign words? Oh, yeah, especially for food. I mean, just look at this menu. Look at the word hamburger. I know the word hamburger. It's a kind of sandwich. But it's an English word, right? Well, actually, the word hamburger is German. German? Really? Yeah. The word comes from the city of Hamburg in Germany. But hamburgers are really popular in the United States, right? Yeah, you can find hamburgers in almost every American restaurant. What about this word tortilla? The word tortilla is Spanish. People eat tortillas all over Mexico and Central America. So what is a tortilla exactly? Well, it's a kind of bread. Uh, it's kind of like a pancake. Look, here's a picture of one. Oh, okay. You can make sandwiches with them. They have five different tortilla sandwiches on the menu. Hmm, I bet they are delicious. Okay, here's another word you hear in English. Baklava. Is that a sandwich? No, it's a kind of dessert. And it's really, really good. Just look at this photo. Oh, I want to try it sometime. So where does the word come from? The word is Turkish, but baklava is popular in both Greece and Turkey. Oh, look, on Saturday nights, they have music from different countries here. Here? In this restaurant? 
Yeah, and tonight they have balalaika music. So that's another foreign word we use in English. The word balalaika is Russian. So what does balalaika mean? Well, a balalaika is a kind of musical instrument. It's very popular in Russia. It's kind of like a guitar. You know, I love Russian music. Really? Me too. So do you want to come back later tonight and have some baklava for dessert? I'd love to. All right, ladies, how was it? Do you understand the audio? Yes? yes. All right, let's, let's do it. Number one, hamburger. Hamburger. Lupita, what do you have for number one, hamburger? It's a king of sandwich. A kind. A kind sandwich. A kind of sandwich. A kind of sandwich. Uh, what language is it from? English. 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 German. English? Yes. German. It's from German. It's German. German? Yes. Uh, where is it popular? In United States. United States. Yeah. All right, one by one, please. Two, uh, flour, tortilla. Tortilla. Uh, it's, the, it's kind of like... Uh, um, um, panqueque. What's the pronunciation? Um, panqueque. I was Pan pancake. Pancake. It's kind of like a pancake. Pancake. Pancake is what we say here in Mexico. Uh, hot cakes. Las hot oh, cakes yes. que se hacen aquí. I have like my pancakes. Okay. What language is it from? Spanish. Spanish, yes. Tortillas. Tortillas. Where is it popular? Uh, Mexico and Central, Central America. And Central America, yes. Central America, Flor, a clava. I mean, Flor, sorry. Uh, Alejandra. Ale <laughs> Alejandra. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Alejandra. La primera, sí, sí, no la escuché, teacher. A ver, what is, what is it? The baklava? No, ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, but, uh, let's, let's see, uh, Kati, do you have baklava? Yes, yes, it's like of dessert. Dessert, dessert. 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 Uh, let's explain. Una vez que ustedes dicen dessert, es desierto, ¿verdad? So this yeah. one is dessert. 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 La diferencia entre uno y otro. It's kind of a dessert. 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 Um, what language is it from, Katy? Turkish. 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 Okay. Uh, what is it popular? Mm. Turkish and Greece. Yes. yes. Turkey. Turkish. Turkey. Remember, Turkey is a country, Turkish is a language. Greek. Like Greek is a country. I mean, sorry. 
Greece. All right, Balalaika. Who wants to answer this? Alejandra, do you have it? Uh, yes. Um, it's a kind of guitar. It's a kind of guitar. 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 Okay, guitar. lo acabamos de decir que es guitar, no es guitar. Guitar. Balalaika. Is a guitar or is a kind of guitar? Are you sure uh, it's guitar? Guitar. Guitar. All right. What language is it from? Russian. Um, Russia. 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 Yes, Russian. Russia. 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 All right, uh, Alejandra. Where is it popular? Ru Russia. 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 La U siempre es como O. Russia. Pero tienes doble S, right? All right let's, let's play, play it and see if you're right. Listening and strategies. What language is it from? A. Listen and complete the chart. We use a lot of English words in Japanese. What about English? Does it have a lot of foreign words? Oh, yeah. Especially for food. I mean, just look at this menu. Look at the word hamburger. I know the word hamburger. It's a kind of sandwich, but it's an English word, right? Well, actually, the word hamburger is German. German? Really? Yeah, the word comes from the city of Hamburg in Germany. But hamburgers are really popular in the United States, right? Yeah, you can find hamburgers in almost every American restaurant. What about this word, tortilla? The word tortilla is Spanish. People eat tortillas all over Mexico and Central America. So what is a tortilla exactly? Well, it's a kind of bread. Uh, it's kind of like a pancake. Look, here's a picture of one. Oh, okay. You can make sandwiches with them. They have five different tortilla sandwiches on the menu. Hmm, I bet they are delicious. Okay, here's another word you hear in English. Baklava. Is that a sandwich? No, it's a kind of dessert. And it's really, really good. Just look at this photo. Oh, I want to try it sometime. So where does the word come from? The word is Turkish. But baklava is popular in both Greece and Turkey. Oh, look, on Saturday nights, they have music from different countries here. Here? In this restaurant? Yeah, and tonight they have balalaika music. So that's another foreign word we use in English. The word balalaika is Russian. So what does balalaika mean? Well, a balalaika is a kind of musical instrument. It's very popular in Russia. It's kind of like a guitar. You know, I love Russian music. Really? Me too. So do you want to come back later tonight and have some baklava for dessert? I'd love to. You heard, uh, it's kind of musical. The last one, balalaika, is kind of musical instrument. If you, if you notice, we have two different, it's a kind of, it's a kind of like, right? When you use kind of, you have a, a noun. When you use kind of like, 
uh, and like in this case, it's kind of, what you hear is kind of <clears throat> a musical instrument, right? It's kind of like a guitar. They are very similar and sometimes they are like confusing. But yes, okay, you have some pictures here and you have number one, the hamburger. What is this? Uh, number three. A club, yes. One. This one? Number two. Two. Four. Two. 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 Clava. two. Yeah, it's a tortilla. La tortilla. It's a 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 tortilla. It's All right, we finish this lesson finally, and then we have exciting destination. It's the last one. What do you think it means, find uh, exciting destination? Find destination. Exciting destinations. Exciting. So what is exciting. Just the word destination. What is a destination? Um, lugares, places. Exciting. Destination. Places. What else? Destinos. That's in Spanish. Uh, Try to say it in English. What's a destination? Uh, Destino. Destino. Attractive. It's attractive. Yes, it's where people travel, right? When we talk about this. But sometimes destination is where you where you go. Let's see. We're, when we are talking about places, <clears throat> like um, cities, right? Cities, countries. Destinations. <clears throat> All right. Question: What are ex exciting destinations for you that you would like to visit? Uh, Paris. An exciting or exciting destinations that you would like to go to visit? I love to go visit the... Maybe in Mexico or maybe in a different country? I, I go visit to the... Italy. Italy? You would like to visit Italy? Yes. Okay. And French is Fran the... France? France. France. French. France. What else? Canada. ¿Cómo se dice Torre de Paris? The Eiffel, Eiffel Tower in Paris. Paris. Oh. Okay, why why would you why would you like to go there, uh, Flor? Why? What's the reason? What would you like to see or what would you like to do? Well, anybody. ¿Qué te gustaría hacer o qué te gustaría ver, por ejemplo, uh, en esos lugares? Uh, bueno, lo que es la Torre de Paris, que siempre he tenido ganas de ir. Pizza? Pizza, sí. Uh, Pisa is in Italy, right? Uh, well, when you go to Pisa, uh, it's just a tower. There's no more attraction. The only attraction there is a tower, and there's nothing else in the city. I tried to go there, but then um, I prefer to visit um, other places like Venezia, Florence, Rome, 
Napoli. What else, Kathy? Any exciting destination that you would like to visit sometime? Maybe in Mexico, maybe you would like to go, maybe you would like uh, Tasco, Siguatanejo, I don't know. Puebla. Let's go to Tulum. Tulum? Tulum. Tulum? Yes. My favorite is, uh, well, maybe Puebla or Chiapas. Those are my next destinations. What about you, Alejandra? What? You I I go to uh, Mexico, uh, Chiapas, uh, Chiapas, yes, and uh, Oaxaca, a uh, beach, uh, Puerto Escondido. Puerto Escondido, in Oaxaca, mm. oh, nice. And um, Baja California. Um, All right. That was. Is there any special reason uh, why you want you wanna go there? Why? Um, I like uh, I like um, how did you say um, arena? And. Yes. Uh, I like uh, like the sand. I Marina. like the sand and uh, the why um Sunni uh, and Sunni and uh -huh. what's that? Sun sun. Uh, this place uh, they are uh, beautiful. These places uh, are take, beautiful, yes. Uh, and take the photos. And take photos, take some pictures? Yes. All right, nice. Uh, Lupita, what about you? What places or what destinations? Remember places, destinations, uh, like the same. When we, but when we talk about destination is because it's, uh, destination is always where you go. Like the last step, let's see, uh, in general term, destination. My destination is, I am traveling and my destination is my last stop. Let's see, I go to Costa Grande. So I have a destination, I buy a ticket to get to my destination, right? That's a different meaning. That's where you go. Your last stop when you get off. Es la última parada donde te bajas. Como igual uh -huh. como en el tren. What's your destination? Oh, me bajo aquí. O me bajo allá. <laughs> o okay. el, el pecero, lo que sea. That's your destination. Me quedé dormida, me bajo aquí. Ajá, sí. el, te lo pones ahí en la ventana. <laughs> me despiertan okay. en la griega, me despiertan en la griega. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's el, a destination. ¿A dónde quiero ir o dónde he ido? Donde te gustaría. You would like to visit. Ah, ok. Destination that you would like to eh, visit. La mmm, Bahía de Huatulco. Uh -huh. Puerto Escondido. Ok, you're talking about Oaxaca. Tasco. Las okay. rutas. Tasco mm -hmm. is beautiful. Las rutas yeah. de Caguamilpa. Caguamilpa. Yeah, I have the, I was there last year. Yes, and uh, Cuernavaca. Yes. Yes. What about you, Katy? Mm, my last destination. Mm -hmm. It was um, Sedemekis. It was where? CDMX, Mexico City. Oh, that's where you were, but some, somewhere, a destination that you would like to visit sometime. Uh, Maybe like. in Mexico or in Europe or Asia. Uh, I don't know, Central America, like visit, South America. Uh, I would like to visit Cancun, the Rio Maya, and Tulum. And Tulum, nice. All right. 
So that's the concept or the meaning of destinations, right? And this, 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 uh, <clears throat> the last lesson, lesson D, is always about reading, right? Reading comprehension. <clears throat> reading tip, before you read something, think, what do I know about this and can I learn? For example, <clears throat> we have some uh, popular tourist destinations, right? The one you mentioned here in Mexico. We also have some tourist destinations in Europe or Asia, like Japan, uh, France, Spain, Italy, <clears throat> United States, Colombia, but we have some places like here. We have Bogota, Rio de Janeiro, Moscow, and Beijing. Besides the places you mentioned before, right? Do you know um, what countries are these cities in? For example, Bogota is in Colombia right? What is Rio de Janeiro? Brazil. 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 Moscow. Russia. 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 Beijing. Uh, China. 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 <laughs> China. 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 La, la termino. <laughs> All right, look at, the, look at the website. How many of your ideas are mentioned? Like what you can see or do in these places. For example, Bogota. Bogota. What can you do in Bogota? Give me ideas. What can you do in Bogota? Uh, it's, a, it's a city. Uh, the popular uh, by Medellin, creo. Yeah, but the question is what can you see or do there? Like uh, we mentioned before, like side scenes, right? Look at the city, buildings, buy souvenirs. Um, eat, eat out, you know, the gastronomy. Uh, most of the places where you go, you do the same. Correcto? Donde viajas siempre se es este, tomar fotos, ver los edificios, la gente, ir a comer. Uh, sometimes they have some attractions, right? Maybe in Bogota you can see shows, salsa shows, right? Colombia salsa or something. In Rio, what can you find in Rio? ¿Cuál es lo famoso de Rio de Janeiro? Mm, Something carnival. very popular, yes, the carnival, the carnival, the carnival. And then some samba, right? Moscow, what do you know about Moscow? What can you see there? Moscow, the place. The place uh, Red, La Plaza Roja, creo algo así. Uh -huh, the Red Place. The, the Red Place. And what do you say, Flor? Kremlin, ¿qué se llama? The Kremlin. Uh -huh. That's what you said? No. Es como una... It's a monument? Yes. Yes. And we have Beijing. What do you know about Beijing? Beijing. Beijing in China. Uh, no sé. We have the Olympics there, right? A few years ago. Remember? Do you remember? Yes, yes. We have the Olympics yes. in Beijing. It's a beautiful city too. 
Well, sometimes we have to know about different places, not only our country, not only Mexico. Um, especially if you like to travel, right? Well, Russia is not my favorite because it's too cold. I don't really like cold places. I used, you know, <laughs> I prefer like Alejandra, uh, beaches, something with a lot of sun, hot, sand, ocean. But once in a while, it's good to visit like places like that, especially in summer. We have a travel guide. Do you know what, is a, tra what a travel guide is? Cathy? Mm. Uh, yes. Flor? Es como you... la guía de turistas. Uh, yes, that's a travel guide. Yeah, turistas. Information you find about a place or places, right? Okay. Same, you have a travel guide here in Acapulco, like um, stores, clubs, restaurants. That's a local travel guide, right? It's local. All right, um, Alejandra, can you read the title and this part, please? Okay, uh, the travel guide. Uh, where can you go for a read? Siri, break, Narrow. Paris, Narrow. London, New York, of course, but there are many more amazing series to see. Click more to find out about the about these ex exiting uh, destination. Okay, we mentioned this word. What's the pronunciation? Exciting. 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 Yeah, we just mentioned this word, exciting. Exciting destinations. Exciting, exciting destinations. And this is find out. Va junto, find out. Find out. Uh, find, find, encontrar, find out. This is a phrasal find verb. Find out. Find out. Find out. All right. This is great. Great. For a great city break. Break. In this case, break. Great. Es como un, break. un descanso, huh? Break. break. A great city break. Para que salgas de la rutina. Un break. Mm. Anyway, Lupita, can you read <coughs> Bogota? And then, Floro, uh, can you read Rocha? Um, Katy, you read Rio. Uh, Alejandra, you read Beijing. <laughs> Please. Bogota, Bogota Colum, Colombia. Bogota, Colombia. Bogota is, city, is a city contrast world around La Candelaria. A historic neighborhood with Narrows, streets, halls, churches, churches, and modern skyscrapers, or go to the Chapinero. 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 Chapinero uh -huh, neighborhood with its beauty, beauty, beautiful park, great cafes, and shop. Don't miss the World Museum and its beautiful yearly exhibit. Okay, Bogota is a city of contrast. Walk around contrast. La Candelaria, a World. historic neighborhood with narrow streets or churches and modern skyscrapers. Churches. Or go to the Chapinero neighborhood with its beautiful park, great cafes and shops. Etc. And uh, this museum, uh, Lupita Museum. Museum. Ya hemos visto esa palabra museum. Museum. And jewelry. 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 Yes. Next, Russia. 
Russia. The Kremlin Palace and the Cathedral of Saint Basil in Red Square are just some of the history cities you can see in Russia's capital. There are also tourists attached attra attra attractions under the city, the Moscow metro, the subway is full of cars, statues, and crystal chandelarias, chandelier, more. Okay, let's, the Kremlin Palace and the Cathedral, floor Cathedral. Cathedral, Cathedral. Cathedral of Saint, no Saint, Saint. Saint. Basil, in Red Square are just some of the historic sites you can see in Russia's capital. There are also tourist attractions under the city. The Moscow, no Moscow, Moscow in Espanol, Moscow, Moscow me Metro, the subway, it's full of art, status, or status, no statues, status, and crystal chandeliers. This word is, is French, chandeliers. Chandelier. Chandeliers son como chandeliers. Uh, lo que se cuelga del techo para la lámpara. Candelarios. All right, candelarios. Sound similar, right? Candelarios. Uh -huh. De esos este, grandes, así de cristal, sí, bonitos. Candelarios. Oh. Candelarios. All right. All right. Next, Brasil. Uh, Rio de Janeiro. Rio is a famous for its beaches, mountains, and natural beauty. Walk through the Juca National Park or take the cable car to top of Shugal Love Mountain for amazing views of the city. Or you can join in the local and, and head for the beach. All right. Good. In this case, head, you know what head is, right? We are, but we are not mm. talking about head, part of your body. Head is go. <laughs> Go to the beach. Okay. Um, China. Um, Beijing, China. In Beijing, you can experience the old and the new. Take a tour of the Forbes Siri Wind. It's a uh, 600 years old palace. Then visit the modern Olympic Beers. Needs Stadium, Beijing National Stadium, and the day when a traditional food massage. All right, in Beijing, you can experience the old and the new. Take a tour of the Forbidden City with its 600 year old palaces. Um, plural, palaces. Palaces. Yes. Then visit the modern, the modern Olympic bird nest. Olympic birds nest stadium. Bird. Uh -huh. stadium. Beijing National Stadium. End the day with the traditional food massage. Such. Right. And la lectura and the reading you need to improve. You need to read more. Uh, la, la, when you read in Spanish, right? Llevarle un, una secuencia en el, la entonación y en la dicción. No cambiar las palabras y decir una oración completa. O sea, no hacer altos cuando no tienen que hacerlos o hacerlos cuando tengan que hacerlos. Puntos y comas. Igual seguir una oración completita. So that's why you have to read a lot. 
please make sure, make sure as well as we finish uh, unit nine, traten de mejorar su lectura, um, obviamente agarrando más libros, leyendo textos, eso les ayuda un poquito a, a, a soltarse un poquito de la, a, la lengua, como quien dice. I mean that your English become more fluent. So you don't make pauses or you don't hesitate when you read. I mean, your reading has to sound natural, not like you are still learning how to read. I know it's just the first level, but poco a poco se va logrando. If you try, if you try and you take the first step, reading is very important in your skill for everything. See? Capish? Yes. ¿Me entendieron? Flor, yes. Chiquita? Yes. 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 Flor? Yes, teacher. No, Flor. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Todos me tienen que dar una respuesta para saber que me entendieron, ¿verdad? No, pero la lectura es súper importante. Es que, es que tenía mi micrófono este, apagado porque oh, sí, están yeah. hablando aquí afuera y luego se escucha muy feo. Ah, no, es ok. No, no, nada más es la recomendación de que tienen que leer mucho para que su fluidez y su, se suelten un poquito y no tengan miedo de... Obviamente se cometen errores en la pronunciación y todo, pero lo importante es que eh, su sonido salga natural, con fluidez, y hacer pausas cuando las tengan que hacer o, o lo opuesto. Por eso es importante leer. Anyway, we are about to finish. It's 1029. Uh, So please, from the reading, you have C, right? Look at the website again. Find these things and answer the questions, then discuss with a partner. Eso lo vamos a hacer mañana. Vamos a discutir estos puntos. We're going to discuss this historic neighborhood, what are the streets like? Two cities with palaces, what are these? All this information is here. Try to answer this. A place to get a great view. How do you get to the top? You have it here too. You see? Um, a city you want to visit. What do you like about this city? Okay, tomorrow we have this and this. And we finish. So tomorrow um, is supposed to be the exam. So we're going to try to finish lesson D tomorrow. Then we have a review. Right, a review, a little review about everything. From seven, unit seven to nine. Let, we are going to see uh, questions. If you have questions, we have some exercises. And then the exam is gonna be for Wednesday. Okay. Okay, yes. Teacher. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. So see you tomorrow, uh, ladies, at the same time, with a lot of energy and con ganas de, de, de aprender y de conocer muchas cosas. Y vamos a seguir viajando. Okay. See you tomorrow at the same time. See you tomorrow. See you. Thank you so much. Tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Have a nice day. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye bye. bye.